Hey, welcome to Spirit Soul Sense, information for your soul, and I'm Charisse, and I want to talk to you about Kanye West. Kanye is one of my favorite celebrities. He's someone that I think I've been like most passionate about. I've spent a lot of time defending him, trying to understand him, um, sharing my thoughts on him when I had my Facebook page. One of those reasons is Kanye West reminds me a lot of my father. They have pretty bizarre ideas, very strong opinions when talking to people. And they they have like, <laughs> I like doing blinders. They have like blinders on, sort of. Like Kanye West has a very specific way of thinking, believing, and he is not really open to anyone else sharing with him in an effort to, to change his perspective in any way. He think, he knows he thinks differently than most people, which is why he was with like the whole free thinker thing. But at the same time, I think some of his statements lack nuance and yeah, and so he's just easily misunderstood. Similar to like my father, just people who just aren't exactly here with you. Like they're here adjacent. <laughs> like you kind of get what they're saying, but not all the way, not all the way. But I love Kanye West. I really respect him. I respect his art. And I know people have tried like to cancel him and like say he's crazy, all these negative things. I know he has been like, hospitalized like all those things and and i like i get it you know i i just really feel like i get kanye west and i just really like him so kanye's spiritual journey i i like to call these things spiritual journeys i did one for jadena and you can see it reflected in the music that they produce and in the way that the media reports about them their 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 dress their outlook you know what they do share when they do interviews you can see the progression of someone's soul and you know all that stuff so i remember when kanye west did that thing with the white girl he grabbed her mic i was literally i don't even watch like award shows but i was literally watching this award show when he did it and thinking what in the oddness like this was so weird to me how they like put the camera on beyonce and how she's like trying to be like appreciative of Kanye West doing this gesture towards her but also looking like really uncomfortable that he's doing this gesture towards her it was odd and I can't remember if that was before or after his mom died if you don't know his mom died during plastic surgery and like I can only imagine that being like one of the most traumatic things that he could go through my mother is alive and well i know some people who don't have their parents but it's not like an easy process i think we go through life thinking not much about death and not much that the people who we love and care about are going to be anywhere close to dying like we have this image of them being like really old at the end of life passing away but there's so many opportunities in every day for people to pass away so Kanye's mom died and I think that's when I started paying more attention to like pop culture. I wasn't like heavy in it. I have my heaviest pop culture like living and like talking about celebrities and what's going on and what are the trends was in 2017. So around that time he was, you know, he was married to Kim and I think when he first got married to Kim Kardashian, I was like not a fan of Kim Kardashian. Um, right now in life, I'm still not a fan, but I really respect Kim Kardashian. I think like what she's done and what she's built really shows like her progression as a person and her spiritual journey. I don't think I'll do a video on Kim Kardashian, but you know, my other videos, I talk about sex, sexuality, and spirituality. And so everyone who interacts with her in real life describes her as this really, really great, humble, kind person. And I think kindness is one of the biggest aspects of spirituality. And the way she uses her sexiness and sex, I think to build her brand is genius. Like I, I really think she's awesome. Like I think she's a really awesome person. So when there was like that clip going around of the show, when Kanye was telling her, I don't want you to dress sex, like you're my wife. I don't really want you to dress sex, like sexy like this online anymore. And it's really affecting me. Like, I could see both sides because I don't think there's anything wrong with what Kim Kardashian is doing or how she dresses or, you know, how she sells and brands herself. And I don't think there's anything wrong with Kanye West, like, sharing with her. I, I'm starting to feel uncomfortable with what's happening. 
But like she said, like just because this is your journey doesn't mean this is my journey. I think there definitely is a line between giving too much of yourself and not necessarily like physically, like her showing her body. I think our bodies are art. I think our bodies are beautiful. I do not see anything wrong with a naked body. I think they're awesome. And I wish we could post more regular naked bodies online. I, I think though that there is a line with how much of yourself you give to strangers, to just people, and how much you keep to yourself. And I think the line for what feels good or feels right uh, changes as you get older. I think just because you have more experiences, um, more feedback from other people, you know, more things to reflect on, that you can see the line, I guess, shortening. What felt comfortable at 21, 25, 35, uh, starts to not feel so comfortable anymore the older you get with how much you share. And in this like age of online everything, it's up to every person individually to decide what feels most comfortable with them. And so Kanye West is at the point where he's like, I, I think you are sacred. I think your body is sacred. And I think our relationship is sacred. And I don't want to share certain things with other people anymore. That may come like sooner for other people. Like some religious folks may feel like, you know, no one should be in our marriage. No one should know any information. Um, other people might think of their marriage as like something to help the community. And so everyone is involved. Like it's different for, for everyone. I think Kanye West is bringing up, like this is something that's uncomfortable for me, definitely speaks to like his spiritual journey, like Kim was saying. I remember when Kanye West did the whole show on TMZ and you know, the black guy then came up and everyone was like misinterpreting his slavery as a choice kind of thing. If you, and it reminds me a lot of Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart Tolle talks about how everything that happens in your life is something that you attract, right? Law of attraction, if something is happening in your life right now, it's because you need this experience to grow. He was on a show with Oprah talking about, um, you know, I think she gave the example like cancer, like people get cancer. And, you know, so are you saying that they're attracting the cancer to themselves? And Eckhart Tolle in general said yes, right? But people, people will refuse on a conscious level. People will refuse the idea that they've invited cancer into their life. But it's, it's really not about, and like this, this is part of why I don't like the secret. If you've heard of the secret or like the law of attraction or, um, manifesting things or your thoughts can make whatever you want. They're like oversimplified explanations to big, big ideas in life, right? So yes, if you want anything in life, it's got to start with a thought. Yes, if you have cancer, it's something that you needed to grow. Whether it kills you and you go back to where you came from or whether you beat cancer and then continue living and have this story to tell and come out, you know, it's an opportunity. I really think everything um, positive or negative in our life is really just an opportunity for us to grow spiritually. So when Kanye West said, you know, slavery is a choice, I understood what he meant. Like he said that one sentence, it was taken out of context. The idea is there are some people who were enslaved who did not want things to change who felt comfortable with uh, the way that things were, were afraid of things changing. And then there were some people, very strong people, who said, this is bullshit and we need to get the fuck out of here, out of this. And those people were the ones to change things. Their thoughts created their reality and they made big changes to make slavery no longer existent. It's been like a long process. It's not a simple thing to explain uh, it's it's not victim blaming, right? It's it's just like a really big concept to cover how things in our world and our societies can be maintained, continue to affect people, right? So there's that. Kanye West supporting Trump, wearing the Trump hat, really wanted to make a statement that just because you say this hat is bad, and just because you say Trump supporters are bad, doesn't mean it's true. And I agree, it doesn't mean it's true. And he can know someone on a personal level and have interactions with that person that are not negative in nature doesn't take away from the fact that Trump is supporting and fostering the oppression of people.
because of the things he says for shock value uh to get like more people to follow him like i don't think he really believes everything he says he said like some other like really crazy sounding things i feel like that's like kanye west and his personality how he thinks about the world very unique through all of this like drama that was happening in his life kanye west was is the pioneer for like collaborating with gospel and rap so like i grew up christian I grew up on gospel music. I didn't listen to like <laughs> non-gospel music until I was like a teenager. And I, I love gospel, absolutely love gospel. When Kanye West came out with his albums that incorporated like gospel themes and style with his rap, I was like, oh, beautiful, beautiful. I remember when he did his Jesus Walks video, I've just really appreciated like his style of music and his spirituality coming through within his music. So we're at a point now where I was a little frustrated with Kanye West's reception when he did the whole Trump thing, and so I did not listen to his most recent album, but I have been paying attention to his Sunday service. Everyone who's done an interview after being there describes it as this really like uplifting experience. You know, Kanye West is paying more attention to the beats that he uses, the lighting that he uses, how he's like structuring his music, the lyrics that he's um, singing about. And so they're all very Jesus-y <laughs> gospel songs right now. So I saw the trailer for his upcoming film, Jesus is King. I, Jesus is the homie. I love Jesus. And I am so like intrigued by Kanye West now sharing the way he's been sharing about Jesus. We all have our own process to go through. Kanye West is a multimillionaire. He is a musical genius, has a very unique personality. And so I am really looking forward to what this film is. I think it's gonna be mostly a lot of singing, very artistic, tasteful shots of people singing. Um, I think music that might make you cry. And I'm just, I'm just ready for more Kanye West. Like I'm paying more attention now than I have like in the last year to what Kanye West is doing. And I wish him nothing but the best. Thank you for watching.